Our lesson today involves technology as the fifth theme of history. And your definition is, in an attempt to provide food, shelter, and security, we have developed tools to make the job easier. These tools have shaped our environment. Now, a simplistic definition is anything that can make our lives easier, that is new and or improved upon. So pause the video at this point and copy those definitions down. Let's start today by looking at the other seven themes of history and how technology has influenced or impacted uh, those other themes. And I start with geography, and as you can see in the pictures here, transportation has probably been one of the biggest impacted areas in our lifetime, um, whether it's travel in air uh, or car, even in space. Technology is ever improving, and um, just think about what could be with technology and how they can make things better. And e even the simple vehicle, uh, the new vehicles today are self-driving. Um, navigation systems within vehicles, uh, it's easier to get places. So think of that as technology, and we'll move to the next one. For economic organization, your definition was that there needs to be a guarantee to the basic necessities of life. But we also have to think about things such as uh, trade, manufacture, and how those methods develop, uh, that we develop influence our civilizations. And as you see here, televisions, think about the improvements in television just in the last 50 to 60 years. Uh, the smart TVs, the curved TVs, um, the number of cable channels that we have. Uh, I have Verizon Fios and I watch six channels, but yet I have access to over 500 channels that I don't need. Um, you'll also see a cell phone here, and, and with that cell phone, think about the improvements and advancements in cell technology. We've gone from flip phones to facial recognition phones, and quite honestly, the sky's the limit for these handheld computers. So think of economic organization and technology in that manner. For politics and law, I just wanted to focus on these two aspects of technology, and there, there's quite literally hundreds of advancements in, in politics and law. But for voting, it used to be a paper ballot that we used. Now we have touchscreen computers at the voting polls. Um, for, for law, I, I have a picture here um, of a policeman with a radar gun. Now, Pennsylvania is finally allowing different municipalities to use radar. Prior to uh, last year, I believe it was, state police were the only entity of law enforcement in Pennsylvania that were allowed to use radar guns. And we were one of the few states that um, still didn't allow municipalities to use those. So that's an example of technology in politics and law. When focusing on technology in war and diplomacy, I can't help but think of all the war that we've had and, and, and the improvements um, whether it be um, ballistic missiles or um, just rifling that we've had over the course of the last couple hundred years. But you also have to think of, of peacetime. And with war comes tragedy, obviously, but um, we're being able to save more soldiers' lives. But in the end, they also need prosthetics in order to live. So I have here a prosthetic leg, and, and it's amazing what our scientists and doctors have done with prosthetics. And you'll also see a military drone, and now we don't even have to send soldiers uh, or, or covert operation missions into other countries. We can simply fly a drone that's loaded with uh, some sort of weaponry and um, take out any, any of the bad guys. So that technology right there is amazing that we have. Now with religion, philosophy, science, and the arts, and technology, I'm sure we could come up with a list of things for religion and philosophy and, and more things for science and, and the arts. But what I focused on here is, <laughs> is the Yeti cup. Um, if you've ever had a Yeti cup or used a Yeti cup, they are amazing that they can keep things hot and or cold for long periods of time. And I have a Yeti cup that, I, uh, that was gifted to me and I can put ice in it and that ice will still be there the next day. So that kind of technology, to me, is, is amazing. For social relations and technology, 
there are a vast endless amount of apps that people use for dating and we talk about forming identities and relationships 35 years ago you pretty much knew everybody in your school now it's kids know people from all over their communities and it's it's thanks to things like instagram and tiktok um, or dating apps that are out there that people meet and greet and just get together and otherwise they would have never had this ability if it wasn't for the new technology that is out there. Finally, our last theme is cross-cultural interaction. And one of the items that I had uh, defined for you is that it's communication that carries a wealth of information around the world, which contributes to the ability of human beings able to grow and change. And I can't help but think of the app TikTok for this one, because you have music artists that are around the world and they can upload their videos and they're seen by everyone and and i guess the same is true with youtube as well you can find new artists that are out there and um, people are expanding their horizons with with their abilities for music and genres of music so what's next what will be the greatest technology advancement of your lifetime will it deal with transportation Will it deal with medical? We don't know. And that's the greatest thing of all, because when it does strike us, we're going to be awed or floored or wowed. So what I want you to do right now is go to your Schoology page and open up your worksheet that I have for you. And it's a quick little worksheet. Complete that worksheet and then submit it. Thank you.